In this video, you're gonna learn how to compare two means using hypothesis test where the two samples are dependent. Now, how do we know if the two samples are dependent? If the two samples are about the same subject before and after situation, then it's very much the case that the two samples are dependent. Let's read the question and uh, uh, as we progress you know, in the question, I'll explain why the two samples in this case are dependent. A pharmaceutical company wishes to test a new drug with the expectation of lowering cholesterol levels. Ten subjects are randomly selected and pre-tested, so they were pre-tested before they take the new drug. The results are listed below, so that's the before. The same subjects were placed on the drug for a period of six months after which their cholesterol level were tested again. The results are listed below. So as you can see, it's the same people, 10 people that were tested before the new drug was taken and after. So that should tell you that the two samples are dependent. Test the company's claim that the drug lowers cholesterol levels. Alpha, use alpha equals 0 0.01. Assume that the distribution is normally distributed. So here's the first step that you have to do, guys. You're going to go to the stat, edit, and you're going to enter before data in L1 and the after data in L2. Then once you finish, I would like you to go to L3, to the top of L3, to the name, and enter L1 minus L2. And here's how you do it. You press second, one, minus, second, Two, and then press enter so what is in L3 L3 is a difference so difference is before minus after what we're gonna do guys we have two samples after I did the difference we're gonna test you know just one sample which is the data and the difference now what is it that we want to test if the drug works we would expect the measurements after the drug was taken to be lower than the measurement before the drug was taken, if the uh, new drug works. So we expect the difference before minus after to be what, greater than zero or less than zero in this case. We would expect it to be greater than zero. So because before we had the large number and after we had the smaller number, so we want that to be greater than zero and that's what we need to test there are three scenarios for the null and the alternative hypothesis you're gonna choose always one of them when you do dependent samples there are no other scenarios guys mu of the difference it's one mean and we label it D just to say this came from L3 from the third the difference between the two sets mu D it could be equal zero less than zero that's one the other scenario will be H O H A mu D. It's always equal. You know, in the null hypothesis, you must have the equal sign always. Mu D greater than zero. And what's the third scenario, guys? It's mu D equal to zero. Mu D is different from zero. I forgot to put H A here. So which one? Let me just erase this and make it right all right h a and mu d is different from zero so since we want the difference to be greater than zero so we choose the alternative sign that has a greater than zero so this is our gonna be our null and alternative hypothesis so i'm gonna write it down that's the step number one This is my claim right here in HA. Okay, how we're gonna proceed, guys? It's a calculator uh, question now. You can use the calculator. So you go, stat, tests. It's a t-test, not a two-sample anymore because we're doing the difference only. So it's just t-test. So always take a note here that you are doing a t-test. All right enter now do we have the data yes we don't have a summary so to so we choose data 
mu zero zero keep it at zero we're always testing against zero list where's my difference well i put it in l3 so i i need to select l3 so how do i select l3 you press second and then number three this you'll never change just leave it exactly as is now the alternative hypothesis i have a greater than zero so i'm gonna select the third one enter and then hit calculate guys and let's see so t0 step number two so that's step number one step number two is t0 equals 2.752 3, which is the important one, p-value. What is the p-value here? 0 0.011. All right. 4. As I explained in other videos, as you know, guys, if the p-value is less than alpha, let's see what alpha he says. He says use alpha 0 0.01. Oh. So my p-value is slightly larger, uh, bigger than 0 0.01. It's very close, but it's slightly bigger. So what do we say? Fail to reject HO. Let me repeat this, guys. If the p-value is less than alpha, you reject HO. If it is greater than alpha, you fail to reject HO. If you fail to reject HO, this is what you have to say. You have to start with there is not. Any time you fail to reject HO, you have to do there is not. Enough. Evidence. At the 0 0.05, uh, 0 0.01, sorry. Level of significance. To support... the pharmaceutical uh, just claim this is the claim guys it's just copy it and paste it uh, this is the company that the drug lowers that the drug lowers cholesterol levels pharmaceutical company that the drug lowers cholesterol levels. We could not support their claim. I'm just going to show you before I end this video. I'm going to show you something here. If I go to stat, edit. I mean, look at the differences, guys. The difference is 15. So the new test showed a uh, reading 15 less which is not substantial you know when lowering cholesterol this is only five the third person did not even benefit his cholesterol went up that's down by 20 which is not bad but still not good that's down by five only so that's the reason guys we could not uh, support the company's claim so this is a model on how to perform hypothesis testing testing the difference between two means when the samples are dependent